Hello and good morning to all you people on the internet. This is a 2015 Ford Focus with a 1 liter 3 cylinder. A uh, 6 speed manual transmission. And the concern is that the clutch pedal is stuck to the floor and the vehicle will not move. Let's see if we can verify the concern. Oh. Yes. Yes, we can. Oh. oh fixed. All right. Okay. Oh. And it does appear that the um, clutch is actually uh, not releasing too, so. See, wa watch this. I'm going to try, it's all the way down and uh, won't go into gear. All right. So a little backstory on this one. It was here a week or two ago for the same concern and I could not duplicate the concern and I opened the uh, reservoir for the clutch fluid and it was black it was very worn um, and almost like there was like piston seal debris in it from the master slave cylinder and so since I couldn't duplicate the concern what I did is I flushed it and bled it made sure it was all the fluid was in excellent condition and it was bled properly and I drove it about 30 miles and it was fine and then now here it is again and uh, at this point it's going to need new clutch hydraulics a master and slave cylinder when the fluid looks like that when it's all black and wore out like that it, you're going to need the master and slave cylinder and of course while the transmission's out I'm going to do the clutch and flywheel so uh yep and on a Ford Focus uh, one one liter three cylinder or the two liter it doesn't matter the uh, reservoir is actually shared with the brakes um, so what I did also was flush the brake system out and make sure all that nasty fluid was out of there let's uh, pull this out or pull this cap off again and see what it looks like this time um it's more clean than it was last time but uh, it's starting to get a little bit of a shade to it there so uh, I'm going to flush it again <laughs> when I uh, fix the transmission, the uh, clutch I mean, master and slave. Yeah, the uh, slave cylinder is internal, see? This is the uh, line going in, and this is the bleeder right here, so it's internal. See what I mean? Yep, so with 120,000 miles I believe on it, it is, uh, it does appear that it's time for uh, its first clutch replacement. Okay. Well, I hope this video helps somebody out with this uh, same concern here. It's not something I see very often on these, but uh, it's something that does happen on cars once in a while. And you're not the only one, obviously. All right, thank you for watching. Hit that button that looks like this, and... Uh, and the subscribe button and I hope you enjoyed and have a fantastic day